Hello, Amanda. I'm Sarah. I hear that you're looking to meet someone and with our help, I'm sure that you'll meet the one. Our application process is quite selective, which means that we only select the finest people to be our clients. That sounds wonderful. Is there a theme? Huh? You know, a theme. Something to relate the young people to each other. Uh, a hook, I guess. Well, that of course we do. Have a seat. We are a matchmaking service for stereotypes. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, stereotypes. They're all the rage, my dear. Oh, let's see. We have pretension, neck beard clad hipsters. We have dogmatic Christians, first generation immigrants. I mean, we have stereotypes from everywhere. So, uh, tell me, what's your stereotype? My stereotype? Yes, yes. Please check one off the list that has been given to you so that we can accurately select a suitable mate for your first round of speed dating. <laughs> All right. Oh God, I don't know. Um, perhaps uncertain, polite young lady. Uh, that'll be row 43, column 17. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, of course, I had you stereotyped from the moment that you walked in here. I mean, it is my job to dark and gray to black. <laughs> Anyways, let me procure your first potential soulmate. Okay. Well then, Miss Amanda, here is your first. Mr. Donald Rosewater. See, dear, you do not wish to continue for whatever reason your conversation with Mr. Rosewater, you can go ahead and ring this bell. I'll remove him and get the next guy in for you, okay? Play nice, you too. Uh, hi, Don. What do you do for a living? The hell is it to you? I'm sorry? You're in league with the feds to take me in. Seductress of the totalitarian state. No, no, no. I'm just trying to get to know you. Yeah, fucking right. Please, what do you do for a living? I work to prove that the government's oppressing us. Cover-ups, experiments, selective breeding, it's all true. Area 51, genetic engineering in humans, pocket-sized atomic bombs. We have to destroy the government before it destroys us. I see. How old are you? Mother of God! My friend Bill just told me that he found a half beaver, half rabbit with tags indicating it's from a U.S. military base. Damn it! I'm always careful with my spelling and text messages. Wanna know why? Because the government keeps track of us and how many times a person uses spell check and if it exceeds a certain amount, you find yourself on a list to be euthanized, endorsed by the state. No stupid people, they say. I'm not falling prey to that ploy. I check my spelling. I see. Uh, what do you do for fun? Masturbate excessively. All right, get the hell out. I've said too much. They know too much. I've got to get to my fallout shelter. They'll never find me in Omaha. <laughs> Sorry about that, dear. Allow me to call the next suitable mate. That's really all. <whistles> Who are you? Um, hello, hello, hello there. Are you a proton? No, why? Because you're positively gorgeous. Uh, well, flattery will get you everywhere. Will it get me out of my virginity? After 20 years, it's been through the wash too many times, and it's getting a little tight. What did I say? I paid you a compliment. Women need compliments to combat their insecurities. I was a perfect gentleman. We could make such passion- Stop! Right there. Let's just say that we're both protons, and this attraction is only repulsive. Okay, okay. Enough with demonstrating that you have an impeccable sense of torture, Amanda. I know that underneath that sweet exterior is a stereotypical rotten core. Get out of here, Donnie. 
You're too good for her. <sighs> All right, little miss. I've seen the extent of your cliche colors. I have a few people who would like to meet you. Assemble! Wait. Hello. Who are you guys? It's not like I completely understand American women, but I give a shot. As sure as Nana's back broken gulag. I am Gustav, America number one. What's up? I'm Mike. I got rock hard abs, a high alcohol tolerance, no legitimate respect for women, and a surprisingly small penis. Oh, forget these patriarchal clowns. I know what a girl likes. I'm opinionated, challenging, and you'd be remiss to reject Jane Doe, sweetheart. I. I don't understand. Stereotypes, my dear. All lovely stereotypes. Aren't they just adorable? How immutable they are to the sheer virtue of never changing essence? It's the perfect partner. But you see, it's what you get. Vodka. Tequila. PBR. Oh shit. No shit, my dear. Just stereotypes. You yourself are one. But I'm not. Yes, you are. Sorry to disappoint but you've subscribed to a pre-existing character traits that rope you into a certain group of people. Believe me, when I first met you, I knew that you were gonna be repulsed by this entire process. But enjoy it. Embrace it. And once you do, you'll be a lot happier.